Today, the U.S. announced it will begin to restore diplomatic relations with Myanmar, the Southeast Asian country also known as Burma. The move comes after the country's military-led civilian government released more than 600 political prisoners. In a statement released today, President Barack Obama called it, quote, a substantial step forward for democratic reform. Activists welcome the release of prisoners, but they continue to call for further reform. From Bangkok, FSRN's Ron Corbin reports. Activists and human rights groups welcomed the Myanmar government's release of more than 650 political prisoners. New York-based Human Rights Watch called the release a crucial step in promoting respect for human rights in Myanmar, also known as Burma. But the organization also called for all remaining political prisoners to be freed immediately. The release covers key members of the 1988 uprising against military rule, including the movement's leaders, Min Ko Nyang, Nila Tien and her husband, Kian Min Yu, also known as Ko Jimmy, and Te Kwai, Buddhist monk Ushan Gambira, who played a leading role in 2007 protests led by monks, was also released, as well as Shan ethnic leader Kun Tun U. Several reporters working for independent news organizations were also freed. Ang Zor, editor of news magazine The Irrawaddy, says the release was a bold step by President Tian Xian after overcoming resistance within the government. The president uh, had made a decision several months ago that uh, all will be released. Uh, so I think we are hoping that um, by the end of this year, by the end of this year, and all political prisoners should be out of the prison. Ang Zor, who also fled the 1988 military crackdown, says that after almost three decades of political struggle, Myanmar was heading in the right direction. But Aung So says the government has more work to do. I think the thing is how government going to reach out to the ethnic minorities. And, uh, uh, I think that, uh, that national reconciliation that is uh, how to achieve the genuine national reconciliation with all groups, including ethnic minorities and groups, um, resistant groups, and uh, so that that we could see more, more, more stable Burma and, uh, and a Western government were we convinced to, to remove and lift the sanctions. The United States, Europe and Australia have imposed economic, financial and trade sanctions on Myanmar in a bid to press the government toward political reform. After years of little progress, the appointment of President Tian Xin last March following 2010's general elections has marked a new start for Myanmar. Pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi was released from house detention and is now preparing to stand for a seat in parliamentary elections in April. Debbie Stoddard, spokeswoman for the rights group The Alternative ASEAN Network, says the release of the prisoners highlights the success of sanctions against the military establishment to force change. This is clear evidence that economic sanctions on Burma have worked. The sanctions functioned as a very important bargaining chip to push the authorities to do as they promised that they would. They needed to deliver on their promises. Um, It's very clear from the past few months that the authorities have embarked on a very significant campaign to remove sanctions. And uh, this is part of the campaign. The release of prisoners included lifting the house arrest of former Prime Minister and Military Intelligence Chief Kin Yun. The total number of political prisoners behind bars is unclear. The Assistance Association for Political Prisoners Burma, based in Thailand, has put the total at more than 1,000 political detainees still behind bars. Officials and other rights groups say the total figure is lower. Bo Ji, Secretary General of the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, called the steps very encouraging, but said many of those released had signed documents warning they could be rearrested later. But Bo Ji was cautiously optimistic. So anyway, there is like good news for uh, political prisoners, even though they were not recognized as political prisoners by the government. But Bo Ji says more needs to be done by the government to promote political reform before the international community lifts the economic sanctions. One of their intention is to lift sanctions by the United States and European Union. But I think it is not enough just only 
release of like, the political prisoners. They need to improve for the rule of law and other... They need to improve for the human rights violation in Burma. The human rights violation is getting worse and worse, especially in the ethnic areas. Myanmar is now coming under increasing international diplomatic attention. Several foreign ministers, including U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, have added their support to the program of political reform. Ron Corbin, FSRN, Bangkok.